Hi there Pisces, thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for July. Your two ruling planets are Neptune and Jupiter. Neptune is very dreamy. It gives you that wonderful imagination, ability to draw, paint, dream, escape, and sense things in such a marvelous way. Jupiter is very much about exuberance, learning, in some ways about history and healing. But for you, the combination of these two planets can be quite awesome this month from the 7th right through to the end of, of July in a way which can enable you, give you a platform to express yourself like never before. Sometimes conditions don't always allow us to uh, communicate it, the messages we want. And because you can be very subtle in your approach, very sensitive, this is going to be real good stuff for you. However, I have to say that Mercury, the planet of communication, is twisting backwards through to the 20th in an area which is very much to do also with expressing who you are and therefore there could be some misunderstandings. Not everybody's going to get it. And you need to try and factor this in and not get too crushed or disappointed if that's the case. There could also be some stop starts in your romantic situation on the back of this. And also the sun in this area too, great for pepping up your physical vitality. It's opposite Pluto. Now Pluto for the last two or three years has been penetrating deeper into an area which is asking you to become much more conscious of what you really want from your life direction. And some of the things that you thought you wanted three or four years ago have probably already faded into the ether. So you're probably getting into what you want much more. But the sun is asking you to be true to yourself. So if there is something that's out to kilter with the reality of the, where your life path and path is going, something may have to give. There could be some kind of standoff it could be pressurized for you at this time. However, the good news is that on the 8th, there is a new moon, which just encourages you to keep believing in yourself, keep having faith in how glamorous and attractive and incredibly talented you are, because that's the message, therefore, the world will get, despite the fact that Mercury can mangle that message at times. And also Saturn, the planet of restriction, which is in your sector of growth, but has been twisting backwards for nine months, that starts to go forward. It's not going to take away all of Saturn's difficulties for you, but it eases them. It just says to you that if you are trying to expand, then it's going to be less of a struggle. You still have to work hard, but as long as you're open-minded and up for it, good things can still come to you. Now that can be underlined too from the 5th through to the 10th. Uranus is in your sector of finances and it forges a, a lovely link with Venus. If you have a clear out, a declutter, you might be surprised by how much you can sell stuff you don't need anymore for. Or you could snaffle yourself a wonderful bargain. Find out about a labour saving device that really helps things on the home front. On the 14th, Mars also moves into this fantastic area for you that's full of brightness and, and sunshine. And it connects with Jupiter in the second half of this month. This can really give you an amazing sex appeal, which could draw magical things to you. But there are some, uh, some pitfalls that are set to emerge. But with Mercury going forwards, you would think that that, does go, is, that is going to clarify things, and it can. But the sun moves on the 22nd and immediately goes into a full moon, suggesting don't take your eye off the psychological or practical sides of life. For example, if you're overdoing it, burning the candle at both ends, you could soon find yourself feeling very short of energy when two minutes before you thought you were invincible. And with Mars combining with Jupiter, that invincibility mounts as this month draws to a close. But Venus then goes opposite Neptune and someone could be a huge disappointment for you around your love life. So if you do meet someone who really does seem to be the real deal, just take your time. You're going to have such enthusiasm as this month winds down. It may be hard to believe that things can't turn out exactly as you hope. And I really wish they do for you. And they might. But just be aware that one person could be very tricky and perhaps even downright deceptive. And then as the month draws to a close, just be conscious that your desire to express who you are, is it really meshing in neatly with the life path that you're on at the moment? If it's not, something about that life path may need to change, and it may change quite suddenly and radically, and that could be quite a shock, although hugely exciting for you. 
Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.